The Reverend Thomas in Philadelphia writes to me and he says, I first dove into audiophile land in the late 1990s when home theater was also getting big. So I've also seen a selection of subwoofers available at hi-fi stores. However, it got me to wondering, how far back does using dedicated separate subwoofers in regular stereo listening sessions go? I can't remember seeing any subwoofers in any hi-fi system of any of my friends or family until home theater became a thing. Was that when it took off? Or had audio companies dabbled with it before? And I just missed it. Great question. And then he closes by saying, P.S. Stop being such a perfectionist and release those darn speakers already. <laughs> all right, all right. There's no question we've been hiding behind perfectionism, but it, you know, this is a big deal. PS Audio is going to be making speakers, and in our 43-year history, we've never made speakers. So it's a really big deal for us, and we want to get it right. But I promise you, this year, 2021, we will release the FR30, and I am very excited to show it to you. So thank you very much. Um, subwoofers in two-channel audio go back to the early 70s. I remember my friend, Norm Little, wh whom I wrote about in the book 99% True, which is my autobiography, he had pairs one and two of Sirwin Vega 18-inch subwoofers. So he, this was in 1974. And he had the, the very first pair of Gene Sirwinski's 18-inch beasts. And I got to tell you, that was an eye-opener. I'd never heard or seen uh, a subwoofer or knew anything about them until Norm's house when I saw those number one and number two subwoofers. And wow, what a revelation. Because to that point, of course, all our speakers have woofers, and all our speakers supposedly go down in frequencies, but until you hear a proper subwoofer, until you hear what a true subsonic sounds like, you ain't heard nothing yet. Seriously. I mean, subwoofers are, are just, um, they're just amazing. Now, you don't have to have a subwoofer. You'll see on the FR30, with we have these massive passive radiators on the side. And that sucker will go down into the, the upper 20s. So, you know, it can be done, but it's rare. So for most things, you want a good subwoofer. And I think that home theater didn't come into till the late 90s. I mean, as early as 91, 92, we still had these big CRT, those big glass tube televisions. No one had ever heard of home theater. And subwoofers though, I mean, heck, uh, these were from 1985. Uh, before that, Arnie was making, at Infinity, he was making the servo statics, and the servo was a servo subwoofer. So yeah, they'd been around for since the early 70s. So, all right. Thanks for the question. We'll get those darn speakers done. I'll talk to you later.